is Robin Bramer, and today I want to share with you that you can, can do the same thing that Jesus did, because you are the flesh that Jesus lives in today, and he is no different today than he was when he walked the earth in his flesh. When you ask Jesus to come into your heart and to be your Lord and your Savior, you are receiving a free gift of salvation of Jesus paying for your sins and when you receive that free gift the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you as Jesus is representative in other words before you were saved you were spiritually dead you had no God life in you you were created in the image of your father the devil and the Bible says that but when you've asked Jesus to come into your heart you are born again and God becomes your father and you are spiritually made alive because the Holy Spirit lives inside of you and Jesus is on the throne in heaven representing you and you're seated at his right hand you are seated with him in heavenly places as God at God's right hand so today you are Jesus walking on the earth now don't freak out on me and get weird and say she said I'm Jesus I didn't say that you are you are in a sense Jesus walking on the earth in fact what the Bible says it says that you are gods that means overlord of earth do you know why Satan is called the God of this world because Satan took that position from us uh, Satan is the God of this world he's the one that causes sickness disease poverty lack fear uh, he's the one that's causing earthquakes tornadoes and all the destroying weather all the uh, destructive stuff that's happening on the world on the earth right now it is not God's judgment because God's judgment will not happen until the church is raptured out and um, uh, we will not be involved in God's wrath or judgment uh, as far as on the earth goes because we will be raptured out we're not appointed to wrath and Jesus has been judged in our place for our whole lifetime of sin already he's been judged and punished he paid the price read Isaiah 53 okay so you have the Holy Spirit living in you, giving your spirit life, giving your flesh life. And so you are the flesh, you are the flesh that carries the presence of God, that carries the temple. Uh, like in the Old Testament, the, temp, uh, the presence of God was carried in an ark. We are the ark today. We carry God's presence and power wherever we go. That's why wherever we go, we shift the atmosphere. And the more you become aware of that, the more you do that. And it's a lot of fun to do. Uh, and one of the scriptures you might want to confess is, uh, I just scratched my back and lost my point there. The scripture about uh, shifting the atmosphere. Well, hopefully I will remember it in Jesus' name and get back to it before I'm done broadcasting. Anyway, what I was saying is you are the flesh that carries the presence of God, the ark of God, the covenant of God, the power of God. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And remember, they went into the temple and they couldn't even stand because God's presence was so heavy. So don't freak out when people uh, fall over when you pray for them or fall over in church when they shake, when they roll around. Uh, even I've even heard of people levitating and don't get freaked out on this, okay? The supernatural belongs to the Christian. The occult stole it from us. They have the copy. We have the original. God can do anything he wants. He can make people levitate if he wants. It's the cult that stalled it. Okay? Uh, there are other weird things happen. Uh, oil, oil, gold dust, sapphire dust, ruby dust, whatever. It comes out of our pores, out of our hands, out in our house. Uh, uh, manna, gemstones falling from heaven, angel feathers, all kinds of stuff God does to show his goodness. Rainbows, who knows? Just remember the cult is not the original supernatural. The original supernatural is us the Christian okay so we were told to subdue have authority and dominion, dominion over all the earth we were told to rule over all the earth and subdue it in other words in Genesis God said anything that does not line up with God's will that is not heaven on earth like earth was intended to be a copy of heaven there was not supposed to be sickness disease poverty lack fear death on this planet but when man decided to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil they became knowledgeable about good and evil 
and they choose to do evil and they fell and Satan became their our God our overlord and that was our position we were gods of the earth and now when Jesus died and paid the price for our whole lifetime of sins went to heaven and uh, covered the mercy seat with his blood because heaven is a cop earth is a copy of heaven and he sprinkled the mercy seat on the blood uh, the blood of, of the, his blood on the mercy seat in heaven and paid for our, our sin went to hell took back the keys to hell and death from the devil and took them back gave them to us and went up to heaven as our representative where we can go anytime we want seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus we're in him and we have to go there for our instructions and then he sent the Holy Spirit back down here to teach us to empower us like he was empowered so we are now supposed to be gods of this earth or overlords of this earth the church is in charge of the earth not God Okay, the church is in charge of the earth and God's in charge of the church. Okay, so the more you submit to God and walk in his power and dominion and change things on the earth with his power, the more uh, you walk in the authority and dominion you've been given. You're supposed to make it like heaven on earth. So we are the flesh that the Holy Spirit and the presence of God lives in today. And we can do the same things that Jesus did when he walked on the earth because the same Holy Spirit lives in us and he paid the price for our sins and redeemed us by raising from the dead that's proof that we're redeemed and we're forgiven and then sending back the Holy Spirit to empower us so I pray in Jesus name today that you lay hands on the sick you cast out devils you see people healed you see people change you change the atmosphere when you walk into uh, different places because you carry the power and presence of God and every demon has to bow to the Holy Spirit in you and flee and I just pray in Jesus name that you get on fire and hungry for the things of God my name is Robin Bremer net is my website and I talk to you tomorrow